Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everybody's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about action, not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 92, NASDAQ off 108, SP's down 19, gold contract down $7.50, trading at $17.82 an ounce. We had silver down 25 cents, $19.94 an ounce. Light Street crude up a buck 26. $87.79 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note, down 18 ticks, trading 118.26. The 30-year off 29 at 140.10 in King Dollar. King Dollar right now is trading up 42 ticks, 106.542. Euro is at 101. Yen is at 135. And the British pound is at 120 to 1 US dollar. My phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we had the Fed minutes come out. The way that shook out, uh, folks, the bottom line is that uh, the market actually, uh, here, let me show you what this did. Because it's pretty cool what it did, actually. So if we pull up the E-mini, what you're going to see here, we did a 0.618. Well, I'm trading the, the NQs, but I believe the E-mini probably did the same. Let's look at it. So we did a 0.618 retracement in the NQs. Okay, so the E-mini did, did higher than that. Now it makes sense because the E-minis, the S&P is stronger than the NASDAQ. I'll, let me bring up the NQs. I'll bring up the NQs here. And you're going to see from the high, that spike high yesterday, to where we went is was right at a 0.618. Pretty cool. Now, so let's go back to the SPY again, because I want to show you what we're looking at here, what I'm looking at specifically. This is where there was a question that then uh, about uh, where I'm thinking this market's going. So my take is this, that we're going to go like right, right now, too, I'm talking about later, next week, before we get to higher highs, that, see this gap that's open? The gap that's open, my take is we're going to get that filled. Now, depending on how, if I'm correct, and depending on what type of volume we have coming down to it, if we start coming down with volume, what would probably happen is you're going to go back to the breakout area of July 7th, July 27th. Now, watch what this is also, because this is cool. So then we take that, and you take the full run. If you take the full run, what you're going to see is that the 27th of July is a 50% move of the move. So we'll see how it shakes out. The, for the first one, the gap, I, I just, you know, the gap's the gap. That's the bottom line. Uh, that would almost be too easy, though, on a pullback. You know, so it's like, okay, to get things real nervous, which the market loves to do, uh, that, <laughs> that number right there is probably in game. But we'll, we'll see how it shakes out, man. Uh, NDX 100, same type of setup. We got the NDX. It's going to be interesting to see what kind of volume we get here today and where this thing ends up. Uh, we're going to have higher volume. So, you know, yesterday we made a high in the, in, in the queues of 41 million. You're already at 36. So we're going to do about 56. And, you know, we'll see whether, uh, where price goes. You know, I, you, that's, you heard me at the beginning. My take is that we're going right back downtown. And specifically, one of the reasons was that we got back inside the strength too quick. You know, you had that big bar, and the market had every chance to really run in a big way. And it just it couldn't handle it, man. Go right back inside the bar. So we'll see how it shakes out. The dollar, man, this is still a toss-up on the dollar. You know, uh, it, it's waffling again. You can see, you know, this benchmark here is an important benchmark. Uh, and it's almost like, okay, you know, most times with benchmarks are, folks, is where the most amount of buy-in has taken place. 
Uh, but this looks to me the same way, but it's, you know, it's, it, in the currency market, man, there's just months to people in the currency market, in banks and everyone else, okay? So this is, this is the number you want to keep your eye on. You can see, you know, three weeks ago, we, we straddled that number for, what, two and a half weeks, and we broke it, went back above it, broke it with conviction, and, you know, it's, it's having a tough time staying in there. Notes and bonds. We go to the note and bond market. We take a look at the note and bond market out here. Now, this morning, this is going to be interesting. Yeah, it's still light volume, man. You're pulling back with light volume. You're pulling back. You, you did 100 and, uh, I mean, 1.1 million contracts. You are pulling into, there's your strength, man. You're pulling into 1.8 and 1.7. So the bond market right there and right there, the bond market uh, doesn't have a lot of sellers. If we take a look at the... The rate structure in the 10 right now, the rate structure is uh, 2.88. That's getting up there, man. <laughs> That's definitely getting up there. Let's go take a look at the GDX for a couple of the tigers out here. The low for the GDX out here. Let's take a look. Let's fill in the gap. Yeah, I just filled the gap, but it went by the gap. The low is 25. The high is, no, no, one second. The low is 24. The high is 41. And we take a look at this. It's already by the gap. The gap was 2630 or 2581. You got an expansion of volume. The swing's 2529. Yeah, this can come right down to. This can get to 25. That's 2567. This, it, it looks like the. the 2542. Yeah, 2542, 2567, somewhere in there. Well, what I don't like here is that you see the expansion in volume? The bottom line, that's expanding in volume right now. Let's go take a look at Newmont and uh, Barrick because Newmont and Barrick are the biggest, two biggest. Yeah, Newmont has no traction. The, the good thing with Newmont now, okay, is that you don't have no traction, but you're going into something that's such a monster. I don't see it breaking it. And then we take a look at Barrick Gold. That's the second largest weighting structure inside the GDX. That's that's in pretty good shape, actually. See, you get expansion of volume there, but you see how, see how there's no movement in price? That's actually pretty good looking. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.